So today I've got a short clip from another Navy AUG fleet run by Telcontar. This isn't a very well balanced fight, we heavily outgun our opponents, but I thought the fight was quite well executed from our end and might contain some points of interest. I'm really coming to enjoy having Navy AUGs as mainline. They're incredibly tough for a Tech 1 hulls, which makes for a far more engaging logistics gameplay. Watching friendlies get alpha off the field gets frustrating after a while, and the A&I is wonderfully resilient against that. We're fighting against Pandemic Family, who have struggled to get the numbers to match ours, probably because of the Eve Vegas keynote that was going on at the time. Spectre Fleet is fielding 17 Navy Augurers, 1 Navy Omen, a Heavy Tackle Luchesis, a Sabre, 2 Maledictions, a Kerries and some other frigates. Our logistics consists of 2 Aneros and 6 Executors. Pandemic have 6 Harbingers, 2 Navy Augurers, 2 Confessors, a Sveepel, a Griffin and a Mollus. Their logi takes the form of 5 Executors and an Avatas. There's a neutral Proteus on grid which we suspect was their Lynx. Okay, they're coming boys. Yeah, they're coming. Alright, let's do this, get ready, everyone get ready, get ready. Make sure you have multi-frequency, make sure you have multi-frequency, make sure you have optimal range script. Have your drones out, have your drones out, drones out, and crop on tail counter. Can someone give me a D-scan of that shit? Oh my god, they got like nothing. Uh, Logi start coming below us. Logi start coming below us. We expect the enemy to warp in from the station and have a bubble set that should put them at our optimal range. Logi are anchored above and slightly behind the fleet which should put us at a good distance from the hostiles. They actually warp into a 200km ping above us so our first action is to reposition below the gate to make sure we maintain a good range from them when they warp down to fight. Something interesting that I was keeping in mind, this gate is massive and I wanted to keep us fairly close to it so that we could extract if something unexpected happened. Yep, Logi on, start Logi, prop mod, prop on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Audrey primary, Audrey primary, Audrey primary, after Ben is on, after Ben is on. Audrey primary. Audrey primary, then green medics. Audrey, then green. Audrey. Everything on Audrey, everything on Audrey. The enemy's first primary is our Sabre. I see him take damage on my watch list and I get one rep on him. The reason I don't cycle more is that I'm not sure if he's being primated by the Harbingers or just the T3Ds, so I want to keep reps free to catch any cruisers that may broadcast late. As you'll see in a second, he gets volleyed between cycles. Everything on Audrey, everything on Audrey. Overheat, overheat, put your drones on him. Largy if you can assign drones. Green medics, green medics now, green medics now. Then Ninja Doodle. Ninja Doodle. Green medics, everything on green medics, everything on green medics. Reps on Kylie. Logi being jammed. Yeah, that's fine. Sound so I can kill this Griffin that's jamming you guys. If you need. Switch, uh, switch to Ninja. Yeah, switch to Ninja. 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 Rogue Lawyer and the Harbinger is jamming. Switch to Ninja. Just ninja. All reps on Disco Ninja, please round logic. Ninja Doodle, kill Ninja Doodle, guys, kill Ninja Doodle. Put your tracking script in, tracking script in. Put your tracking script in. Put your tracking script in. Everything on Ninja Doodle. Put your tracking script in. Everything on Ninja Doodle. Everything on Ninja Doodle. Put your tracking in. Minus one if you lose your ship. Minus one if you lose your ship. Okay, like everything on Hydra. Hydra. Hydro now, Hydro, Hydro. Everything on Hydro. Then look up Tur. Hydro please, Hydro. Overheat, overheat, overheat on Hydro. Then lock up Tur, then lock up Tur. Kill Hydro. Kill Hydro guys, kill Hydro. Now Tur, now Tur. Everything on Tur. Lock up Kelpha. Tur boys, tur, tur, tur. Tur. Kalfa now, Kalfa, Kalfa. Kalfa. Then Bert. Lock up, Ke uh, lock up Bert, kill Kalfa. Everything on Kalfa, everything on Kalfa. Okay, Bert now, Bert now, Bert now. Bert. 
Start switching reps over to eggs, please. But... Okay, now rogue. Rogue now. Rogue, 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 rogue. Rogue, 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 rogue. Bubble them if you can. Bubble them if you can. Bubble rogue. Down. Oh, bubble's down. Okay. Rogue, rogue now. Then Gav, then Gav. Rogue, then Gav. Rogue, then Gav. Gav now. Gav now. Gav, 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 Gav. Yeah, we'll go for him. Proteus, Proteus, Proteus. Get the Proteus, get the Proteus, get the Proteus, get the Proteus. Gav, Gav, sorry. Kill Gav first, kill Gav first. Hey, kill Gav. Okay, that's fine. Kill Gav, kill Gav. Then lock up Quaz. Spread point, boys. Spread point. Quaz, 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 Quaz. Everything on Quaz. Good fight in local, please. Good fight in local. Good fight in local. Kill air capsule. Good fight in local, please, boys. Proud of you, boys. Good shit, boys. I'll put a link to the battle report in the video description, but our total kills were 5 Harbingers, 1 Og Navy, 3 Executors and some Frigates, for the losses of uh, Sabre and 2 Frigates. Spectre Fleet is a public NPSI and gaming community. If you'd like to get in on fights like this, join the Spectre Fleet channel in-game or visit spectrefleet.com.